quick feature announcement talk for the package linearmaps.jl. My name is Daniel Karasch. I'm a math postdoc at TU Munich in Germany. And this is going to be about the concatenation and Kronika products of abstract linear maps. Before I start, I would like to acknowledge Jutta Hegemann from Ghent University, who is the original creator and co-maintainer of linearmaps.jl all the users for their various contributions and of course all those people who make JuliaCon happen this year. So the package linearmaps.jl is basically about extending matrix algebra to linear maps whose action is given by programs code functions. So necessarily this is the extension has to be lazy. So what are function-based linear maps? Well, prominent examples include transforms rated programs such as those provided by Fourier transform packages or Hadamard transform package. So what do I mean by matrix algebra? Well, as you know, you can add and subtract, multiply and scale matrices and that corresponds to addition, subtraction, composition, and scaling of general linear maps. So for the purpose of this presentation, I would like to use a function-based linear map, capital F, that returns the cumulative sum of the input vector, then capital M, that is a linear map that wraps a standard matrix and then with these two types we define a new linear map that includes all those operations from the top and then we compute the action of this linear map n on x simply by n star x so for function based linear maps this combination by addition or composition has to be lazy because otherwise how would you add two pieces of code so but this laziness may become relevant even when all the linear maps that you're working with are actually matrix based so for example consider the product of 50 large and very sparse matrices and then here in the code snippet we're comparing applying the lazy product of these sparse matrices to a vector x versus computing the actual matrix product and then applying to X. So laziness is key here for performance. Then what else can you do with matrices? Well, you can concatenate them, for example. So think of A, B, C, and the Ds here on this slide. Think of them as matrices or as abstract linear maps function-based ones, then on the respective right-hand sides, you see how the action of the new linear map is, uh, is defined. And then in the code snippet, you see how we do that in linearmaps.jl. So basically from the code perspective, there is no difference at all um, whether F and M are matrices or uh, linear maps. So, Another new, relatively new feature of linearmaps.jl is Kronika products and Kronika sums. So to quickly recall what the Kronika product is, there's this formula that seems to suggest that to form a Kronika B, you do need a matrix representation of the linear map A. But when it comes to computing a Kronika B times X, it's highly advantageous to use a well-known uh, trick called the VEC trick. And once you use that one, there is no need to form matrix representation of your um, maps, but you can compute the, still the action uh, on vectors. So a few words about the general ecosystem. There exists a similar package that targets abstract linear maps handling called linearoperators.jl. So while we share the target and the purpose, the implementation is different in many details, but I don't have time to discuss them here. 
So when you work with matrices alone, then there exist a couple of uh, further alternatives. So for lazy concatenation, block arrays, block diagonals, and lazy arrays, for example, for lazy chronica products, chronica.jl uh, and lazy arrays again. So all these packages, they provide types that themselves are subtypes of abstract matrix and hence can be wrapped by linear maps and then combined, if you wish, with function-based methods. So even in the case when you work with matrices only, I would still recommend um, checking linear maps out and benchmarking it and see um, whether that serves your purposes. So with regard to applications, the first of, first of all, I would like to emphasize that uh, LinearMaps.jl needlessly integrates with generic linear algebra libraries, such as RPAC, Iterative Solvers, and TSVD. Um, a few applications that I'm aware of is in structured optimization problems, image reconstruction, and bifurcation analysis. So I would like to close by listing a couple of design principles of LinearMaps.jl. So the first one I already commented on is laziness in its implementation. The second one I alluded to is genericity. So basically all constructors um, are overloads of base or standard lib methods, which means you can write generic code that is agnostic to whether you're handling matrices or function-based linear maps. We do support the five argument uh, Muller exclamation mark interface and all the constructors are implemented in a type stable fashion. Then importantly, there are no performance compromises. So think of block maps. Then when you apply the individual blocks to parts of the vectors uh, X, then that multiplication is performed by the most specialized multiplication method. So you can mix all sorts of matrix types. Multiplication is always performed uh, by the, by the um, specialized and hopefully optimized multiplication methods. So a last word of warning, linear map. So the abstract type of um, all linear map types is not an abstract matrix subtype, so there are no get index or set index methods. And with that, I would like to close and thank you for your attention and hopefully see you in the discussion.